Chandler, uh, tell us how the first half of spring ball has gone for you, you think? I feel the first half has gone really well. Um, just going through the offense, different installs. I learned and picked up the offense pretty well, in my opinion. And I received good food, feedback from my coaches as well. Just, you know, my uh, things, to fix, you know, just, uh, progressions, um, some footwork things, just getting used to the concepts. Um, but that's, that's all a part of growing and learning the process. You played a lot of football. How much different is this system than what you're used to, or is it largely the same? Uh, it's largely the same. Um, the similar reads, concepts. Um, Different terminology, so that's, that's, that's the biggest thing. You know, some terminology, but you know, just the concepts, reads, and you know, sort of some of the footwork is the same. You know, so. How would you assess kind of your relationship and connection with the receivers and running backs at this point? You know, compared to the start of spring. Uh, to the start of spring is is definitely improved. Um, you know, I pick on different guys and speed and their routes and how they typically like where balls are placed. Um, especially like Ethan Riles, who's making sure he's below the chin on the body. Um, you know, I have some guys in the slot that are really, really fast, so I don't know how to get the ball out earlier for them. And there's a couple guys who are jump ball guys, so I don't know if when in doubt, I can just throw it as if I have a chance to get it. Out. Do you feel like you've progressed most over six practices so far, and yeah, that's personally? Uh, where I feel I've progressed most, uh, I believe, is just being more vocal um, on the field as a leader, I would say. Um, I was talking to Jack about that uh, during, during the practice today. He was like, hey, hey, keep doing that and you know, being vocal, being the guys who really have you, like, hey, we really like that from And you know, that's something I've been going to do, especially being new and coming to a new uh, team. A new culture, just establishing myself, proving myself that I'm going to Coach sounded pretty stern in his kind of post-practice talk today. What do you take from kind of his message, and, and how do you kind of put that into practice yourself? Um, I agree with you because offensively, we, we were very slow. We lacked focus. There were some new concepts that we put in. You know, we have walkthroughs and everything like that. So we know what to do, but it's just a lack of focus. Just in the moment. That's something that we have to fix. We have to be sharp. We have to be sharp uh, going through that in, in seven on seven periods of team because I mean, that's, that's like a game. So just being sharp in that is, is really important for us to do. Uh, it feels like you guys have continued to kind of maybe work on different things every practice. Uh, how far along are you guys in terms of kind of building this offense and, and any part of it kind of standing out to you right now that's maybe ahead of the others? Um, I would say the run game is really, really good. Um, we tag different RPOs with it as well. And, uh, especially our tempo, you know, Set tempo plays. Um, and I really like the new concepts that we put in um, with this last install. And it, it really ties into everything that we have to do with our base install, and it really makes us a great offensive game. Uh, feels like you're getting a lot of the, the ball in the hand of a lot of playmakers, uh, yes. whether the receiver, running backs, all that. How, how vital is that going to be to your guys' success in the fall? It, it's, it's critical um, to us because you can't just stop one person or two. You can't really just bracket one side and play man to the other. You have to be honest. You have to respect everybody on the field, and that, that's very dangerous. Uh, we're talking to Fernando about some of the RPO stuff. It feels like that's been a big emphasis, at least this week, uh, yes. working with the running backs a lot. What are some key things in, that go through your mind that you're focusing on in those kind of situations? Um, just making sure I'm keen in on, on my read, who I'm supposed to read during the RPO. And just making sure I'm making the right decision where if I'm going to pull and throw the ball, hand it off, or if it's a run-run scenario where I pull the ball based off the pressure. Uh, you guys aren't getting hit a lot and probably won't for the entire of the spring. Uh, is that a hindrance to a quarterback at all? Do you want to be in a position where you're like taking some shots to at least get familiar with it? Or are you cool with, like, hey, I don't need to get hit? Um... Personally, I, I like going live because it's just more realistic. You have like sacks in game. I could probably break the sack. You know, I'm, I'm able to do a threat, so I'm able to run. I could probably big tackles, make a miss. So it's just more realistic to a game. I don't mind being hit. So um, I'm in favor for being live as a quarterback. But I do understand and why I know why quarterbacks are not live because they're a vital part of the team.